All right, everyone, welcome back. It's serious time. Tier 4 is coming out tomorrow. Ignite servers are coming out tomorrow. And many of you had questions on classes. Andy, Mr. Andy, sir, what class should I play? Well, here are the things I consider when choosing a class. I need the class to be modern, straightforward, beginner friendly, no crazy requirements to play. Does above average damage, easy to get accepted into lobbies, great animations, the list goes on, so on and so forth. I talk more about this in my how to choose the best class guide video. I will link that in the description, so make sure you watch that before you watch this one. Anyway, there are really only a few that satisfy most or all of these requirements. So let's get started. Number one. Full Moon Soul Eater. You know it's broken. I know it's broken. This class is definitely one of the best classes to play in Lost Ark by far. Anyone who doesn't think of Soul Eater first when recommending a class to someone clearly doesn't play the game. If you are someone who wants a class that has a big scythe as their weapon, cool skills, fluid animations, insane damage, and they're pretty easy to play, then Soul Eater is for you. Knight's Edge Soul Eater is also a great option as that spec has gotten buffed recently. You can also check that out in my Every Class Balance Change explained in less than 20 seconds video. I will also link that in the description. But anyways, I would still recommend Full Moon Soul Eater because I have absolutely no complaints with the class. It is very strong. And in the right hands, it will pretty much never lose to any other class with the same gear. Soul Eater also does extremely well in Tier 4, so your character will only get stronger the more you progress. Number 2. Brawl King Stormbreaker. Where are my fellow Burger King Breakers at? I mean, first of all, look at how handsome he is. Secondly... We need more male representation in Lost Ark. There are way too many people playing female classes. Brawl King Stormbreaker is extremely strong currently and will be even stronger in Tier 4. You can't go wrong with this class. It's very easy to play, it's straightforward, it's modern, it has the high damage, and it has satisfying skills to use. Seriously, play this class. You will gap everyone in damage as long as you hit your two main skills. I think that's a pretty good deal. This class is the definition of modern. I mean, it is because it's the most recent class that has come out. And it does way too much damage for the amount of effort you need to put out. Alright, number three on my list is Igniter Sorceress. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Igniter Sorceress is, in my opinion, the strongest class in the game in terms of damage. Let the salt come in. But it's true. This class was already strong in the beginning, and yes, they did get nerfs in the middle, but with a rework, now they are way too strong. Their weaknesses were all covered, and so all their skills can be casted very quickly. They can also... Stop casting their skills. They have the op opportunity to do that too. The damage they do is insane. The only downsides to Sork is mostly that they aren't as mobile as a Soul Eater. But in terms of damage, this class is the top DPS class in the game at the moment. I would select Sorceress with caution though. Because there are a ton of Sorcerer's players out there, so the competition is very high to get into these lobbies. If you can afford to gear the character, then you will be accepted pretty much to any lobby. But if you are planning to play this as an alt, eh, I wouldn't suggest it as much. There are better options. Now number 4 is Wind Fury Aeromancer. Now if you told me that I had to pick the most overall best class to pick in Lost Ark, the answer will always be Wind Fury Aeromancer. 
There is no question about it. This class literally satisfies every single one of my criteria for being a best class. It's easy to play, check. Modern, check. Straightforward, check. Beginner friendly, check. There's no crazy requirements to play it, check. It does above average damage. Yes, not the best damage, but still amazing damage, check. Is it easy to get accepted into lobbies? You are a crit synergy, which is one of the most sought after synergies in the game. I know I've taken plenty of event aromancers or event gems aromancers into my lobbies for the crit buff. So yes, check. Great animations, check. Do I need to go on? If you are a new player and don't want to think too much into classes, well, I mean, hey, if you're a veteran and you don't want to think too much into classes, play Aromancer. It's a done deal. Number five is obviously supports. There are three to choose from, Paladin, Artist, and Bard. Supports are always needed in Lost Ark, and they also have a much easier time dealing with gatekeeping in Party Finder. Let's put it this way. You can get away with a lot more by playing support than by playing a DPS, especially when there is a support shortage in the raid that you're finding a party for. But this doesn't mean that you will get away with it every time. You will sometimes get gatekept if your character is not as good as someone else who applies. This should be pretty obvious. Playing support doesn't magically mean that the gatekeeping goes away. It just means that you will have an easier time than if you were to have chosen a DPS instead. In terms of choosing the right support for you, it can be broken down very simply. Do you like male character? And simple, but effective gameplay. Pick Paladin. Do you like slight challenge, where you have to use your brain a bit? and like to be a midget character. Play artist. Do you like to befriend DPS goblin absolute sweat lords and give yourself somewhat of a challenge to time buffs correctly, manage gauge, whether to choose buffs or heals and stuff like that? Then play bard. Bard is the highest ceiling class for supports. Doesn't mean it's better. While paladin is the lowest ceiling class for supports. Doesn't mean it's bad. Artist gets the best of both worlds, basically, so choose based on whatever I just said. Now, I got some honorable mentions. So we finished with the top five, and these are classes that have clear flaws, but either tier four will help them out greatly, or they just simply didn't match the criteria for best class, as well as the top five have. First up, remaining energy deathblade. They have an extremely high ceiling currently, so a lot of people don't do well with this class, but it becomes easier to play in tier 4 with a guaranteed surge back attack 100% rate. Play this class if you want a more challenging playstyle and also high damage, but you do have to back attack most of your skills. Second up is Gun Lancer. This is highly sought after in lobbies. It's tanky. It has shields for days. They are called Chad Lancers for a reason. You won't be doing the most insane DPS, but people sleep on actually how much damage a good Gun Lancer can do. They do really good damage. If you are someone who wants to be accepted into any party you choose, while mostly never having to worry about dying, then pick Gun Lancer. If you are an amazing Gun Lancer, huh, be prepared to get a bunch of friend requests and DMs from the back attack sweat lords who want to keep playing with you. You will feel like a celebrity. Now, a con is you are a front attacker, uh, but you know, so what, right? <laughs> and, oh, and the space bar backstepping thing, it's a little different from all the other classes who move forward by space barring, but you have to move, you actually step back, but you'll get used to that, so not a big deal. I want some more Gun Lancers. Play Gun Lancer if this is right for you. Third up on the list is Esoteric War Dancer. Crit Synergy. Must I say more? Like with Aeromancer, 
that 10% critical chance that you give to the party is extremely valuable and you will have a very nice time in Party Finder as long as your character doesn't look too terrible. But as an added bonus, it has very good damage. It also does very well in Tier 4. The only cons to this class is that your attack range is pretty small, so you have to smell the boss's butt for most of any fight. I would still big big recommend if you like a class that punches and kicks and so on. Oh, and also your hyper awakening is beautiful too. Next up on the list, number four is Demonic Impulse Shadowhunter. I know, I know, some of y'all are gonna be like, who? Yeah, well, that's right. This class is the best class in the universe. Okay, not really. But if you want a budget-friendly, new player-friendly class that does decent damage and will do great damage in Tier 4, then pick this class. You get to transform into a demon. What more is to say here? But on the real, I think DI Shadowhunter is slept on by many, many people. And I know it's not a top DPS or class to pick, so that is why it's in the honorable mention. It still is an extremely solid class, it's very cheap, and anyone who thinks so that is bad can MVP battle with me. I'll win. And finally, Hunger Reaper. This class is extremely cool to play. If you are someone who likes the assassin class in games and wants to play a class with a dagger, this class is for you. It's very straightforward to play and it also has a hyper awakening in tier 4 that almost made me play the class. The visual is beautiful. The only con I see for Hunger Reaper is that you do need to back attack, but Hunger Reaper is actually the best back attacking class in the game since you are so mobile. Anyway, that was it for this video. Let me know what you all think about my choices and if you have any other suggestions for people to try out. You have six different chances to create the right class for you, so hopefully everyone finds the class that they will enjoy in Ignite Server and beyond. Thank you all so much for watching and for my pineapple gang. Today's word is wow, because wow, we are getting it good tomorrow. All right, take care everyone and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.